What's up guys, today I'm going to be doing an unboxing video of the newly released Jordan Fly 89s. As you can see here, I got them in a 10 and a half in the black and white launch colorway. So yeah, hope you enjoy the video. Alright, so looking at the upper of this shoe, what you can see here is that Nike has incorporated this thin textile material onto the upper of this shoe, providing a sock-like fit. As you can see in the physique of this shoe, it's quite thin, and with this stretchy upper, this shoe has been adapted to fit your normal, regular uh, foot shape. Here you can see that the upper has been fused into the sole over here. As you can see here, this little add-on that's been put at the front of the upper has been added on to increase the durability of the shoe and reduce the chance of separation between the sole and the upper. Moving on to the heel counter of the shoe, as you can see here, it's mesh-based, and this is just to reduce the chance of your foot getting blisters at the heel. So yeah, this is mesh-based. And throughout the shoe, you have several leather and suede elements, as you can see here. You have this crackle kind of leather design running through the side. Same on this side, over here. In terms of the suede, the Jordan branding on the tongue has that suede finish to it, and the Jordan branding has been imprinted into that suede. You can also see you've got suede on both sides of the heel here and here. You've also got leather running down the heel over here. And in terms of the thinking behind the design of the shoe, uh, what they did, this was released around the same time as the Jordan 4 motorways were released. So they wanted to keep that whole Jordan 4 kind of vibe going on. So as you can see, you've got a bunch of different design aspects that they've taken from the Jordan 4 and put onto the shoe. For example, you can see this, the lacing system. This is very reminiscent to that of the Jordan 4 and sort of one of the distinct features of that Jordan 4. And you've also got this heel over here, this heel tab with the Jumpman logo on it, and these sort of square designs. Again, these were featured on the Jordan 4. Looking at the sole of the shoe, it's got a lunar line cushioning system running through the entire sole, as you can see. And the midsole, as you can see, the midsole over here has this black speckled finish to it which really pops against the white and that's a really cool design, little element that they threw in there. Looking at the actual sole of the shoe, you've got these kind of pods going on over here. These kind of remind me of Nike's Lunar Epics uh, running shoe, as you can see here, except the grooves between these pods are much less distinct than that in the Nike Lunar Epics. You've got your Gem Man logo here and this sort of orange air pod. As you can see. So the last thing I wanted to mention is the unique lacing system the shoe features. They've incorporated this sort of lacing system uh, similar to that on the Jordan 4. However, on the Jordan 4s, uh, you've got more lace holes running down here and here. Um, whereas on the Jordan Fly 89s, uh, you've only got lacing up here these two spots. So as a result, you're only going to actually be able to tighten this area while this area is going to remain locked in place by this sock-like upper. So if you have an extremely wide foot or an extremely narrow foot, this shoe may not be for you because if you have a wide foot, you're going to be um, constricted by the flexibility of this sock and sort of because it's been fused into the sole. It's not gonna allow for that much stretch. If you have an extremely narrow foot, you're not gonna be able to tighten this front area, so your foot, you're gonna have your foot sliding around, so this shoe might not be for you. But otherwise, if you're not in one of those two extremes, uh, this shoe fits extremely well. So this shoe retails for 110 US. Um, you can find it on Nike.com or Foot Locker. This is a general release shoe, so these shouldn't be that hard to find. Uh, they've released in five other colorways, so you should go check them out. If you're interested in buying these, I'll leave a link so that's it for the unboxing of the Jordan Fly 89s. I hope you enjoyed this video. 
If you did, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment and share the video. And thanks for watching.